so let's define our service definition so i can say service and you see it's giving me code completion so in my local development environment my vs code environment i am getting the code completion for sap cap framework now if you are using the cap framework if you are a beginner in the cap framework this code completion might not be available for you so you need to install an extension in the vs code to let your computer do the uh, do the code completion for cap framework so that is the next prerequisite so you need to go to extensions and search here for sap cap yes or sap cds so you see sap cds language support yeah by sap sc so this is a direct extension in vs code provided by sap only so you click here and you just install this sap cds language support i have already installed it you can see this will provide you the code completion for cap framework development in vs code yeah it will provide all the code completion for cap programming framework so this is a very important extension do not forget to install this extension in your vs code environment otherwise we will not be able to get the code completion so now let us go back and we can go back to our service module and i type service and there you go i'm defining my first service so let's keep the service name as my demo service itself the file name or you can keep it my service also doesn't matter inside this service now i will define a function a endpoint to be called and i can say uh, hello cap that's a function name i'm creating and i will have an input parameter let's say your name what's your name and this will be of type string so you can also notice the moment i'm typing the code it's showing me the code completion so a lot of code completion is helpful for developers when they are developing the cap app so i'll do that and then i will say this will return also a string done so that is the definition part remember cds is a design time artifact